Hey guys, ZeroX here, and welcome back to another episode of the Mindflow tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be looking at our Looker bot, which you can find once again, as always, for every single video I post in the series. Uh, either down below in the description, you'll find a GitHub link, or you can just go straight to my GitHub at github.com slash 0 x 2 6 e uh, and go under the Mindflow tutorial section, you'll find the script for notes for this episode, but for every episode. And uh, you can go ahead and take a look at that, or you can just look at this and uh, I'll note down the differences. This is what we left last episode off with. This is our chat bot. And now we're looking at our looker, uh, looker bot. So our chat bot, just when you would talk in chat, it uh, noted it down into the console. Now we still do the same thing, but furthermore, we get all the nearby loaded players. And for this, it's important to make uh, a clear or to note down, we're making the assumption that the player who's talking is loaded in by the bot. This is not always the case. Of course, if you're on a server and someone's really far away and they talk, it might show up in your chat, but you won't you won't have them loaded in. And so you won't be able to do this. You need to have the entry loaded in. Um, there should be a lot more error checking here, but this is just a simple thing that we want to do um, to show you guys how to look at things, I suppose. And uh, a little bit more looking at things. To look at things, you need to know where that thing is. Specifically, you need to know its position. To do that, uh, we get all currently loaded in players, and we get the specific player by uh, username that talked in chat, which in this case, in this example, it's just going to be my main account. And then we get their entity, and then from that we get their position. Ooh, we don't want to do that. From that we get their position, which returns a VEC3 object, I believe. And then we're going to just say it in chat that we found them. Uh, otherwise, it'd be a little weird because we don't know if the bot found you or not. Uh, that's just some debugging stuff slash uh, making sure that it actually knows um, where you are. And it'll also tell you or show you what uh, it actually returns uh, at the position argument. And then we just look at the players in bot.lookat, which feel free to read it more on the GitHub. It is what it is. If you have any trouble with this script specifically or any of my scripts, once again, down in the description, you can find my Discord, join that, ask questions, or don't ask questions, just talk to other people who are using my scripts for cool stuff every day. Uh, and if you have any trouble with Mindflare or Mindflare related things within Prismarine JS and they're not related to my code, then go ahead and check down the description. There's also Prismarine JS or Mindflare Discord, and you can ask for help in there. And so let's jump right into it. It's going to be a short episode. I'm just going to show you guys uh, what it does. And it's very simple. And then uh, that'll be it. All right, I'm back. And I just briefly wanted to note, once again, I put in the port, but down here, I upped the number of bots to five just by changing this number. So previously we had it to three in the last episode, I think. Uh, I just wanted to note that. And then we're going to go ahead, open up that with control tilde. And then, or I think it's control backtick. And then we're going to do node looker dash bot dot MJS. We're going to run that, go into our client. They're going to spawn somewhere over here, I think. I'm not sure where they're going to spawn. There they are. And you see we've got all these bots. Now, currently, they're all just facing, like, forward and down a little bit. It's kind of sad. Um, so uh, what I like to do is I'm just going to say inside to them so we can actually see all their heads. And then we're going to type something in chat. Uh, we can be literally anything. We're just going to type uh, fries, for example. Press enter, and now they're all going to look at me. Uh, now, really, they're, like, looking at my feet, right? So we're going to look into fixing that in later episodes. Uh, but you can see down here into the console, uh, it logs in time we say a chat message, and then it also says it found our player IGN by IGN uh, at the specific coordinates. And if I look here, these are my coordinates, I believe, right? Uh, or it rounds them a little bit, I think. I think it does do a bit of rounding. Um, anyways, that's all I've got for you guys this episode. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. Cheers.